of the morning to everybody. Brand new day. A uh, brand new Friday. I love going to the gym like first thing in the morning because it takes the pressure off the rest of the day. Because every time, you know, every time I don't go to the gym in the morning, it's like, oh, am I gonna get over there today? Am I gonna do this? Am I gonna be able to go today? And, um, you know, so I'm always wondering, like, is, you know, when am I gonna have time? Am I gonna have time? Am I gonna be able to do this? You know, and I know you guys are always wondering as well. So it's like, to be able to have, um, or to be able to go in the morning is like just the best. Because once you go and you go home, it's like, we're done. Yeah. But then, obviously you have to add stuff in, the, in our gym. Oh, absolutely. But that's the thing is we can, yeah, then like they're in the afternoon we got time. Now we can just jump into our garage and go do something. Yeah. We don't have to be concerned about going back to the gym. in so much because it's so early mm -hmm. it's like why don't i want to sleep and you're like dad why did you have to wake me up I'm like hey you want to go to the gym you're like <laughs> no, i was like yeah don't have to. i was like yeah are you sure i was like are you sure because you're like oh yeah i was <laughs> Oh, so it seemed like you didn't want to go. No, I did. I heard it. I was like, yeah, I definitely want to go. But right now, I'm like, I'm so tired. I just need a second. Yeah, and I did something today that I haven't done in an entire week or more. And that is, I snoozed my alarm. <gasps> and I feel <gasps> really bad about that, actually. <laughs> Like I hit snooze and crawled back in bed. Yeah, I snooze crawled. Yeah, that's not good. Because I normally, I get up and I don't even think about hitting snooze. I end it and then I get right up that out is, of bed. That is redonk. <laughs> Redonkulous for sure. We'll see you on the other side. Gym time. Oh yeah. are working out their biceps today with um, with the bands we're doing this like arms gone bad and Caden has many variations he has as many variations of this as there are like beetles yep. which is a lot I also use this for the hip for these oh like a there you go I'm loving that. Okay, so I have three big top awesome band workouts. If you do these three every day, you'll be as ripped as can be. First one is called the hula hoop. Okay? Put it around your thing just like it sounds like and you just spin it like this. That is a very good bicep workout 
you can really get this engaged like completely. Okay, my second one is, it's called the back burner. You put it on your back just like so, and you just stretch it out. Big, big circle, as big as you want, or as little as you want. You still get the same workout. All up back, like literally, my back is burning. Okay, the, the third one, number three. It is called the stretcher, okay? Put it like this, and you just go like that. Means like workouts are tra your traps or like your triceps, a lot of that stuff. Um, these, yeah. are, these are your traps. Yeah. These are your lats. Oh. So which one is it? Your lats. Okay, usually it's kind of like work, work out your lats. Do these three band workouts three days a week. I mean, like, kind of like six, seven days a week, but every day, these three variations, you'll be like perfect. Or even if you do like eight days a week, like what, like what I do. Now you don't want to go to that far because I'm a professional at this stuff, so you just gotta practice. did a sick, sick arm pump section. It wasn't as long as we'd liked, but it happens. And now we go home, we're gonna run some, uh, today's our long run, so we're gonna be running 10 miles today. So that ought to be fun. All right, let's go, come on. 10 miler. It is chilly. It's like 45 degrees. Mile one down. Still doing good. Two mile mark. Yay. Just crossed over two miles, well, a little bit ago. And we're all doing good. It's starting to rain. Three, mile number three, down. I see mom and Paige back there. Mile number three, still raining. Seven more. But man, it feels good. Mile number four. Back home for a quick break. But it's four. Just push it up that hill. It's getting a snack. Snack time. Six more. Six left. All right, done break time. Back to our four, next four miles. We just crossed over five miles. We're getting bored, so we've decided, what are we doing, Pace? Saying, well, taking turns and saying two things we're thankful for. That's right, two things that we're thankful for, or even talking about our favorite foods. So we're just trying to stay occupied. Five miles down. Five to go. Let's do it. Hit six miles. Yeah. We only have four left. Mm -hmm. We are doing awesome. Caden is wearing my sweatshirt because he was cold. Very. And so this is what he looks like. Cold. Six miles. Yeah. All right, let's go, peeps. All right, Caden, what say you would trade you? Seven miles, baby. Seven miles. Now I'm ready for the next three. Yep. We're gonna pick up Toby for the last two. Yep. Just got one more mile, grab Toby, two miles, we're done. Yep. Seven freaking miles. We're at mile eight, yeah. Mile eight. This means snack time, and we get Toby. to bring Toby with us. Hey, Poppy. Mm. 
Mm. Is it dry? Yeah. All right, mile number nine. Turns out when we stopped to take a break, uh, I forgot to restart my watch. So weirdo. Yeah. I died. I stopped to. Uh, I, didn't I mean, have I, one on. okay. Caden didn't have a watch on. Mine, I couldn't. Or I forgot to restart it, and then Silas's watch died. Uh, the battery died. So none of us are gonna have. Um, none of us are going to show that we actually did 10 miles, but, but we did. So, deep in your heart, you'll know. So, nine miles, we've got one left, finally, then we can go. And, um, you know, ladies are going to take a shower while me and the boys are going to probably do one last pump sesh for the day. Okay, another pump sesh for the day. Silas is crying up here. He's saying, no one less, please. <laughs> that would just break my heart. Are you crying? No. Look at Silas. Hey, listen, it is okay. It's okay if you want to cry. Silas. Come on, give us something good. Come on, what say you, Atreyu? Home stretch. Silas, look here. We are only a couple feet away from 10 daggum miles. There's Kate. Yep. There's the girls way in the back. Way back there. They're coming. I'm gonna run the rest of the way. It's like, it's only like 30 feet, 30 yards, I mean. We've done it. Yep. Today's, actually this week's episode is sponsored to you by 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 18. Uh, something that really st stood out to us this week was pretty awesome. And I'm going to read uh, a couple of these verses, but I, I also just wanted to mention something. But see that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seeks to do good to one another and to everyone. So one thing that I really like and uh, something that we're trying to remember this week is what it says in verse 15. It says, always seek to do good. To one another and to everyone. So something we've been working on with each other is seeking to do good with each other and to uh, seeking to do good with other people around us. Because um, let me just say, seeking and doing good to other people will never return void. Um, so one bit of encouragement this week is seek to do good with other people, with each other, with the people you live with, your friends, your family. And what it says in verse 18 is give thanks in all circumstances, even the one you're in right now. Give thanks. Good morning. Time for a workout. Let's pick up, child. I'm sleepy. I don't even know what to say right now because I'm so sleepy. you what man it was like legit five miles on the bike yep every mile you do four jump over 
box burpees. Yeah, it was just box enough. spacing burpees. That was just enough to make it hard. Yeah, it was. That's that stuff just comes to mind. You know what I mean? I love it, dude. You're such a good programmer. And you know what? I'm telling you, like the morning workouts, oh, the best. It sets my whole day with yeah. like joy. pure joy. And I think it's the endorphin rush that you get. You. And you can just start crying. I just love it. Love it. <laughs> Doing? I don't know. I'm making a smoothie. All right, give us the specs on this thing. So I don't. Is this still up? Okay. This thing has 25.2 grams of fat. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, carbs, 110 carbs. That's perfect for me, and it's all healthy carbs. It's not like processed. What makes it healthy carbs? Like what's? Um, in it's it? fruit. Okay. So I'll tell you all the things that are in it after this. And then there's 72 grams of sugars and then 36 grams of carbs. This is like ideal for me. Um, but there is spinach. Does it show all the grams afterwards? What does that mean? Can you see like all the things you put um, in it afterwards? Yeesh, dripping. 